No, no more! That's it! I don't care! I didn't care anymore! I didn't care if I lived! I didn't care about anything! And then, it happened! Alright, we're back with some more R2 Embla Showcase. I have tried her out a bit. She unfortunately doesn't work on auto that well because if there is an enemy hide, she will go for him. Or if the enemy has wheel runes or light above runes, she will also go for them. She will go for the squishiest unit first and that just doesn't work. But this one, I'm gonna be playing it manually. She is very good on manual because she does a lot of damage, 150% AoE and a very strong single target ability that has defense break and potential to corrupt like the enemies, right? So this is how I use her. In this lineup, I will have to go for Oli. I can't go for anyone else because if I go for anyone else, that unit is not going to die from the Corrupted Seed. So I have to go for Oli here. And then once Oli dies, oh, <laughs> look at that. I didn't even have to use my uh, Gaius right there. Everyone just died. Yeah, her damage is very good. 90k, almost on par with Ashley. Actually, more than Ashley here. When I'm going up against a Jin Yu Yao, then I will have to use her S3 onto Jin Yu Yao. Because if I go for anyone else, then Jin Yuel's AP can get pushed. She can still turn and cleanse that. I can go for someone else if Jin Yuel gets the turn right here, but she didn't, so that's not gonna work. So right here, I have no choice but to go for Jin Yuel. Otherwise, she's gonna steal the turn. And now, everyone's pretty much dead here. Because once Jin Yuel dies, everyone dies. Okay, you can hear like someone crashing in the background, I don't know what that is. I think there's some construction site behind my house or something, I don't know. But yeah, uh, this one, her damage is not that much. Ashley is still doing like the whole bulk of the damage. Oh my god, actually I used a speed lead just now. I wasn't even using attack lead and I still managed to cleave them. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so when I'm going up against wind units, Gaius can sometimes, you know, fail to land his crits. He has a 50% chance to miss, but with Embla right here, she can actually pop off because she can help with the win units. Okay, so Tricky has some stuff on him. Okay, this is a problem because my Gaius isn't 100% speed tuned. Clara can actually uh, cut me unless... There we go. I pushed her back and now we're good. I cannot target anyone else because Jin Yu Yao will steal the turn if I target someone else so I have to go for her and now it's basically GG Unless... okay. Jin Yu Yao still stole the turn I think I'm fine though nope I'm not fine because Everett counted and then she counted because my Ashley has a debuff, she stole the turn. That's the, the problem with the uh, running Embla right now. There's just so much counter uh, in the meta that, you know, Jin Yu Yao can steal the turn out of nowhere because Everett plus her counted. Let's just go one more time against this guy and see if she doesn't counter, I'm probably gonna cleave him. Well, if I manage to move before the Clara, that would be nice as well. Okay, the Clara is going to move. So, again, I lost because she's going to cleanse everything. Yeah, this is a, a big problem, especially when I'm not 100% speed tuned with my guys and shit. Okay, we didn't push the Clara once again. I have two chances to push the Clara. Didn't happen. So, we lost. So, three losses in a row. Yeah, she's not looking too good against, like, Jin Yu Yao because she could just steal the turn out of nowhere. Again, resisted once again. I don't know. I have like pretty high accuracy on my Ashley, still somehow just can't land anything. I'm not I'm not quitting until I can clear this guy because that's just bullshit RNG. Okay, there we go. Now watch, I get counter one once again. Okay, that's one counter. Oh, she didn't counter this time, so yeah. Okay, the next RNG is going to be landing the corrupted seat onto lower HP enemies. This time, yeah, it didn't happen. There's a lot of RNG with Embla. I don't really like it using her in the cleave team anymore. Because, yeah, there's just so much RNG involved when using her. It just sometimes 
most of the time it's not going to work because you need to land the corrupted seed on the right enemies if it doesn't land on the right enemy then she just you know doesn't work very high resonance on everyone except for Lucy but I think we should be fine and yeah that's a full cleave if she works she works really well because she does a ton of damage with their AoE she can proc 150 AoE twice there we go she did almost the same as, as Ashley and that's pretty insane because Ashley does like 10% true damage every time my ally attacks being on par with Ashley is kind of crazy this one I should be able to cleave pretty easily very nice if she works she works but you know RNG can screw you up like look at this look at her damage that's crazy 130k same with Ashley Okay, we found an R6 Sally with Laura and a bunch of other cancers. Let's try this out. I don't think I can use Yuhime right here. I need to use a Luo Yen because Yuhime just won't work. Luo Yen is just much, much better on manual. So let's just try him. I think I should be able to do it if I manage to land the Corrupted Seed on the right enemies. Wow, we landed 2 HP cap. That's just crazy. That's amazing. Okay, let's see. I think I might need to land it on Jin Yu Yao. Hopefully it kills her. Nice, we landed a defense break. Well, that's a problem. I don't think we're gonna kill her though. Yeah, we didn't kill her. And that's a problem. We didn't land the HP cap. And that just basically kills the run. Okay, nice. We landed every single HP cap. Okay. We didn't... <laughs> we didn't land the defense break so it didn't kill yeah I don't really like using her in cleave team because there's a lot of RNG involved there's very little room for defense break on this team AoE defense break because Ashley is pretty much like a guaranteed must have in a cleave team Gaius as well Luo Yen for the HP cap or Yuhime there's just very little room for defense break there we go we killed him but we didn't manage to kill at anyone else so yeah that's still a problem yeah this is not working <laughs> at all <laughs> it's just very inconsistent when you're using embla as a cleave team because you're not going to be running a defense break especially against sally you need that defense break but again the slot is very limited if she doesn't corrupt the right enemies then there's no chain killing happening so it just kills like one enemy and then she does 150 AoE which is pretty good but that's not enough. I don't really like her in a cleave team anymore. <laughs> She's not working out so well. So far I've lost like pretty much all of my matches with her. That's kind of crazy. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at the, look at the loss rate. Oh my god. That, let's try one more time but this time we'll try corrupting different enemies. Yeah, we didn't land the HP cap on Jin Yao. Pretty much lost her right there. Who do I go for? Do I go for her or Ahmed? I think Ahmed would be better, right? Yeah, let's try go for Ahmed. Nice, he healed. Nice. Actually, I shouldn't have gone for Ahmed because now my Gaius can miss, which he will. No, he didn't. And we still didn't manage to kill off the Leora or the uh, thingy. Yeah. Not working out too well against an R6 Sally. It's just very inconsistent. That's just not enough AoE damage. Because you're, sacrifice you're sacrificing one slot for a single target DPS that on a condition when the enemy is dead, she does AoE damage. So that's just not, not enough. I'll try to get go get up against this guy. Maybe you can do it. Okay, we push the Jin Yu Yao. That's a problem because Jin Yu Yao is going to take her turn before my Ashley and my uh... <laughs> so I have to hope that I reduce her AP right here okay that did happen now I think we're fine no we're not fine because she's gonna steal the turn yeah I hate dog Jin Yu is so annoying man with Jin Yu in the meta she's just not gonna work because she can steal the turn out of nowhere um, from Everett plus Jin Yu Yao counters and that's just not gonna work and uh, yeah I think that's mainly what's holding her back a lot because 
you know, a random RNG can screw you up like a lot. I would rather use a Narmer instead of her because with Narmer, you're not, you know, you're subjected to less RNG. You do your damage and then that's it, he doesn't do any debuffs or anything, so he's not reliant on debuffs, which means he's going to be a lot more consistent. But with Embla, you need to rely on, you know, the Jin Yu Yao not stealing the turn or the, um, what's her name? Embla managing to land the corrupted scene on the right enemies. She doesn't work on auto. She doesn't work on enemies with will runes because if you put her on auto, she will go for the lowest HP enemy. And then if that enemy has a will runes, then you're kind of screwed. She doesn't do anything for you. Okay, this one, most of the time I can just cleave it with my normal cleave team with Yuhime and then either a Liling or a Narmer. And yeah, I think this one should be pretty easy because he doesn't have any Jin Yu Yao, so there's no problem there, right there of anyone stealing the turn. Um, I think going for Ahmed. Oh my gosh, she almost killed. And yeah, if she works, she works well, but you know, most of the time she's not gonna work. Yeah, her damage is. Look at, look at. Just look at Luo Yen's damage, 150,000. What the fuck? <laughs> we'll do five more uh, matches. Okay, we'll try to go against this guy again. I think I attacked this guy just now and lost. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. If we don't kill the... Okay, we're gonna kill it. And the other problem with her is that if the enemy has a Clara and she's on Avatara, she can actually just Avatara and then remove the debuff from the lowest enemy HP so there's just too much going against her that it's not worth it to run her as a cleave unit yes if she works she works really well 128,000 but you need like a, a lot of RNG just to make her work I don't think it's worth it anymore we found that free to play let's try to cleave against his defense team there's a lot of things that can go wrong Sienna can counter and steal the turn Everett plus Jin Yu Yao can counter Jin Yu Yao steals the turn, Ahmed can counter every time and just heal up Jin Yu Yao so that I can't kill him with Gaius. There's just a lot of things that can go wrong against uh, his defense team. There we go, we didn't land the uh, HP cap on Jin Yu Yao, I'm probably gonna lose. Unless I go for someone else, I think I should go for... I didn't land any HP cap by the way, that's kind of crazy. I have 100% accuracy or 80% accuracy on Luo Yen and didn't land anything. We'll try to go for Sienna. I think we can kill her. No, we didn't even kill her with Ashley. Yeah, this is a problem. Yep, look. Now I lost because unless... Uh, I think I have to use her second skill. I need to kill... I need to kill him. Nice, okay. We managed, we managed to squeeze it out, but there's just like too much RNG involved with her. I, I don't think it's worth it to run her as your cleave unit and especially on auto she just doesn't doesn't work maybe i'll show you one run on full auto and just see that she just won't work against a height because she will go directly for that height and basically do nothing yeah nice damage loyan did 40k because he landed zero hp cap <laughs> okay we found an r6 alley you know what let's just try one more time against an r6 alley we didn't land the hp cap on her so we're probably gonna lose Okay, never mind. Oh, look at that. Everyone counted. Very nice indeed. That's just amazing. Two of my units are stunned without the enemies taking a single turn. That's the RNG, baby. And we didn't manage to kill off anyone else with the Corrupted Seed, so we lost. It's very inconsistent. I wouldn't recommend at all running her as a cleave unit. Everyone's full healed. And now I'm dead. Yeah, it's just not worth it. Okay, I'll show you an auto team against this one you know this one is pretty easy to cleave because he's using he has very low resonance and most of them are not uh, wind type so that Gaius can just basically crit on everyone and it's very easy to cleave against this team but if I'm using an Embla when I'm running a cleave team on auto I have to 
run Yui Mei, otherwise it wouldn't work. Alright, watch your AI, right? Uh, because everyone is going to have a shield, most, li most likely the lowest uh, enemy HP is going to be hide. So her AI will target hide and it just wouldn't work. Oh, they have two immunities. That means I'm even more screwed because even if I land the corrupted seed on one of them, then when they die, they have the chance to corrupt two of the enemies with the immunity, which means it wouldn't even work. Okay, so Hyde has... Yep. Yeah. Just don't use her <laughs> in a cleave team on auto. It's just not going to work at all because her AI, her AI will just target whatever is the lowest HP. And that's just not going to cut it because her, ho her whole shtick is that she lands the corrupted seed, kills that enemy and then you know corrupt any anyone else but that just doesn't happen on auto I'll show you on manual then it should uh, work on manual that Clara is going to cut me so <laughs> it's probably not gonna work and she yeah I, I can't be bothered anymore <laughs> she's very disappointing as a cleave unit her AI is very dumb okay this one we might actually work against so I'll do one more one more five uh, battles because I'm kind of broke right now. Four win types. So I, I better hope that guy is crits on most of them. Otherwise, it's just basically a loss. Nice. He already got one stun, a counter, and Zeus proc. That's just amazing. I cannot go for Tricky because if I go for Tricky, um, he could actually just counter me and then remove it. The defense break. But he won't remove the uh, Corrupted Seed. Okay, no one counted except for Everett. If I don't crit, then uh, yeah. Okay, he does crit but he doesn't kill the Tricky. So we, we lost. Yep. We lost because the Corrupted Seed landed on Tricky but it didn't kill them. <laughs> we didn't kill I should have used the S. Oh my god. Yo, I hate her and cleave team, bro. It just doesn't work. Okay, we landed the defense break this time, but he countered, so... Okay, nice. But we didn't land the second corrupted seed because uh, it landed on either Hyde or Gabriel. So, yeah. We didn't kill anyone again. So we probably lost again. Hyde gets a move and everyone is dead. So, yep. All of my units are stunned, except for Dahlia, so we lost. Uh, even when the RNG you know, slightly went our way, we still lost because the yeah, there's too much RNG with her. If the enemy has too many wheel runes, she doesn't work. On auto, she doesn't work. Against height, she doesn't work. <laughs> Against R6 Sally, hit or miss. <laughs> One more try, okay, against this guy. But this time, let's try to... I don't even know how I would go against this team. Maybe if I remove a Dahlia and put a defense break. But then I have to. I would have to rerun all of my units to be faster. And hope that the enemies doesn't cut in between. I just can't be bothered to do that. Okay, we'll, we'll try one more team, okay. R6 Ali. And we'll try to go with Luo Yen. Because... Yui Mei damn well isn't going to do anything against an R6 Sally. We have three more attempts. The other two attempts I will show you with a Gabrielle. And that will probably work even better than Embla. No, the thing is, if I can kill the Jin Yu Yao with my Ashley right here, then it can work. But most of the time, Ashley is going to either miss or just straight up not killing. Yep, there we go. She didn't kill. So now I have to rely on RNG on stuff landing on the right position. She cleansed everything and I'm kind of screwed. My guy is stunned so I think I have to kill him ASAP. Yeah, I don't even know what to do here. I have to kill him. We, we still managed to win. One win against an R6 Sally. Managed to stun my... Gaius two times in a row, he managed to stun once again. RNG is RNG, you can't do anything about it. 
the enemies have 100% chance to proc everything. So yeah, you have to, you just have to deal with her. Take a look at her damage, 95k, not bad. Let's try against this team, but this time I'm gonna be using Gabriel instead of her. I've faced off against this guy using Embla like three times just now. Lost all three. Didn't even come close to killing him. Where is he? Yep. Four times in a row. Lost all of them. Let's try against using um, Gabriel instead. See if that is better than Embla. Okay, here's the problem. If I don't land uh, AP reduction on her, then I lose. But I did. So I think I'm fine. Nope. Because she counts it and steals the, steals the turn and just pushes herself, steals the turn and then does whatever he does. Okay, here she steals the turn but that uh, that's actually good for me because now I don't have to rely on landing the, def uh, the AP down on her. Now I have to hope that Gaius just kills off everything. Which I think he should, except for maybe um, brother right there, yep. So, Gabriel, and I use Gabriel and I just won. <laughs> I use Embla and it's just, you know, I have to rely on RNG going my way, otherwise I'll just like die, right? There we go, two, two attempts using uh, Gabriel instead of her and I managed to win. Gabriel did 100,000 damage. Ashley did 200,000 damage and Loyan 150k. So my opinion on R2 Embla in a cleave team, I wouldn't recommend to use her because on auto she doesn't work. Against enemies with uh, light above runes, she doesn't work. Against height, she doesn't work. Against R6 Ali, she doesn't work because you need to kill off that, that enemy off uh, in order to proc the additional stuff. But if the enemy has too many light above runes or relic, then she's not going to corrupt anyone. So she's going to do only 150% AoE damage. Now I know one of my viewers used her in a cleave team with great su success against an R6 Ellie, but for me, it just doesn't work because, you know, there's, there's just too much RNG involved with her. I would rather just use, if I'm playing on manual, I would ra rather just use Gabrielle instead to AoE defense break the enemy. And then just kill him off with Gaius. So yeah, I took two, two tries against this guy. Minimal RNG with Gabriel. And I won with an R6 Sally. But using Embla, I lost like basically all of them. And it wasn't even close to killing the enemy's lineup. Kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I thought she was going to be better as a speed cleave. But yeah, the meta is just completely garbage right now. Too many... Avatar Aprox, too many Cancer, Jin Yao, plus Everett counter countering at the same time means that Jin Yao can steal the turn out of nowhere. It's just not viable. So, yeah, that's about it. Ciao.